de acá, le, no, le hizo Nueva York, no es porque tiene edificios grandes ni nada de eso, sino que es porque aquí es donde venden un poco de droga. Entonces oh. aquí a las 9, 8 o 9 de la noche no se puede estar parado así a la, arriba de la calle porque la policía cree que está vendiendo droga o comprando droga. Wow. Sí. Y aparte de eso, no tenemos más crimen en la isla de Scram, solo, solo esta parte de la calle. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Y no más habla inglés? Sí. Sí. So this is where all the locals live, basically. Yeah, exactly. For the island. I thought it was Spanish. Yeah, the main language for the island is English. The main language is English here? Exactly. Oh, why don't they speak Spanish? Well, normally we do 50 and 50, English and Spanish. Like Spanglish? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, like Spanglish. Yeah, it's the same in Puerto Rico. Yeah. But it's just like bad habits. <laughs> yeah, like 70 years ago, it was English because it was, was belong to England, right? Now it's belong to Honduras, so that's why we do 50 and 50 English and Spanish. But our English is not like a properly proper American English, it's like a broken English, like a patua. Y entran de este lado de acá, donde tenemos más gente como extranjera. Las casas pueden verlas son más diferentes como las casas que hay en, en el centro de la isla. ¿En qué sentido? En como más un estilo americano. Okay, de, más modernas. Sí, más modernas. Welcome to West End, Honduras. So this right here is kind of like where the party scene happens on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So this is also kind of a tourist section, but it's lit during those days. Um, Walter was telling me how from like 5 p.m. until 5 a.m. people just party it out. Um, and man, I don't blame them because they look absolutely beautiful. And there's a beach that's like way over there. I absolutely love this. I'm living for this so much right now. So beautiful. Oh shit, I got a freaking piece of beer glass. No, thank you, no, thank you. So now we're headed to West Bay, yes. which is the most beautiful beach in Roacan. Yes, it is a little bit overcast in here, but still, that, 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 that doesn't stop things from being beautiful. It just changes the scenery. So it's about an eight minute drive by our, my best driver, yeah. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> So West Bay is kind of like the resort area of Roacan, but it also just happens to be the home of the most beautiful beach. Um, typically I'm more of a fan of when the, beautiful, the most beautiful beaches are more like secret spots and stuff like that, but you know. The tourism is what they live from, so I completely understand why they're obviously profiting off of this beach, but it's up ahead. Obviously, we got the pool. You do have to pay to come in, but I'm literally just here for the beach. Um, not really staying, but if I was, holy damn, it's pretty. Look at that. Let's get to the beach, though. Hey, buena. Buenas. <laughs> Eso. <laughs> nice. This is actually so pretty though. What the hell? And here we are. West Bay. And the sun came out. Well, sort of. Still kind of gloomy, but I don't think it's it. Shit. Look at that. Baby. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué está vendiendo? Prensa, amigo. Linda. Suerte hoy. Que tenga buen día. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. 
Of course, in the nature of Laos here, we have to test the waters. Whoa, check it out. There's literally a dude making smoothies on a canoe, bro. People in Puerto Rico need to take some note. That's actually a really good business venture. Whoa, nice. This water is a little bit cold, but it is hot, so it makes sense. But yeah, look how freaking beautiful, clear it is. Can't wait to take my dip. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? And then maybe we'll explore a little bit of this beach. I love Honduras. Coño, me encanta. <laughs> you can take a picture with a freaking monkey here, bro. What? But anyways. I'll find a little secluded spot here, take our dip, and then I'll see what else this beach has to offer. But uh, I like what I see so far. I think you can go on little boat tours as well. Hey, yeah, you can do it all. Let's see. Oh man. Nice. Yeah, a lot of people from different countries here, I must say, because... Oh, wow, that's cold. Oof. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Damn, this water's nice. It's cold, though. It's cold. I, there's absolutely zero humidity today in Honduras, which is really nice, because I'm not used to that. I'm not used to having no humidity at all. If anything, the, co the complete opposite. Yeah, I think they became friends over there. Yeah. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> Honduras, baby. Shit. It's beautiful. And not just like, you know, obviously the beautiful beach, it's just the vibes. And I know there's so much more. This is literally just an island. Like this isn't just, this isn't all of Honduras. I would love to visit the mainland. I definitely do after today. Um, but yeah. Look at that. All the things that I would do for a massage right now, bro. But unfortunately, again, I always forget to bring enough money. Check it out. Got lots of different little restaurants. Lots of vendors. Oh shit, I forgot to put on sunblock. I'll do that in a sec. Boats and boats and more boats. Got some people playing uh, volleyball. You know what's funny? They actually have Claro here, just like in Puerto Rico. Of course, the Honduras flag. Love it. Living for it. Regalo de Dios. That's by far my favorite freaking boat name. A gift from God, bitch. Come join. Get in the boat. Here's a guy selling seashells. Let's see what he got. Hola. Solo quiero ver lo que tiene. Qué linda, wow. Oye, se escucha el mar de ahí, vos. Estamos al lado del mar, pero vamos a ver. Hello. Yeah, you can hear it. You can even hear the little mermaids. Precioso. Muchas gracias, que tenga buen día. Yo, that thing was beautiful. It was like polished and everything. Damn. Not sure what she's selling. Oh, she's probably part of the uh, restaurant. Yeah. Oh, you that thing is a freaking whistle too. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
So according to Walter, the main music that is listened to here is reggae. So he told us he, we would definitely hear it uh, in the beach. We're trying to have fun, bro. We got this dude over here. Looks like he's knitting. I gotta check it out. Get away, get away. Me encantaría saber lo que estás haciendo aquí. Es una pulsera. Wow. Echa mano. Cuesta bastante trabajo. Me imagino, ¿cuánto te tarda hacer una? Eh, como una hora. Ah, tú lo haces aquí en la playa y lo vendes. Ahí tengo mi mochila ahí en el kiosco, ahí yo lo voy armando. Y ahí tengo otro muchacho vendiendo. Te compraría uno, pero me quedé sin dinero. Pero quería saludarte porque me encanta lo que estás haciendo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Jason. Jason Laura, de Puerto Rico. ¿Cómo? ¿Son puertorriqueña? Sí. Yo soy original de aquí también. ¿Cómo? Yo soy original de aquí también, bro. Acá. Sí. Somos isleños. Somos isleños, exactamente. Este es el, el capital de las tres islas. Yeah. Que es Guanaja y Utila. Ok. Pero están en el capital. Oh, so está en the main island. Sí, desde the main island. Así es mi consultura, no estoy isleño. Lo cuidamos, lo desvelamos yeah. y cuidamos nuestro cuerpo. Eso bueno, estás viejo, pero lo mira, mira yo, 47, 43. Amén. Chavalito. <laughs> Young forever. Yeah. In the beach, why not? Yeah, yeah. That's the best. I'll be all day here. All day. It's just my job 24-7. I'll be on the boat, the white boat on the next side, the red and white boat. She needs Camila. This is my best job for right now. Literally. Wow. <laughs> I got three years working here. Wow. Three How many years. more you got left? Huh? How many you got left for today? No, I do got no I didn't get nothing for today. Didn't get no job for today. So, no has tenido negocio hoy? No, no, no. Solamente haciendo tu pulserita. Sí, que el muchacho me dijo que había vendido tres, que hago varias pulseras. It's so nice to meet you. Oh my God, I'm going to keep walking around and seeing the beach. You have a great day. Okay, same to you, baby. Bye bye. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Ah, I love it. Quisiera yo. Oh, ¡En parada, coño! Hay una bomba que eso le da agua a toda la comunidad. Ya a la comunidad y hasta ciertos lugares afuera. All right. So we've seen the beautiful touristic side of Roatán. But I think now it's time we check out the local side. And realistically, the side I'm actually more interested in because this is what I live for right here. I want to immerse myself in what the culture is actually like, what the people are actually like, you know? Not saying that they weren't themselves back in the touristic side of it, but you know, I think the vibes are definitely a little bit different, so. I don't know, let's just walk around and see what we can find. Of course. We're still a little bit, we're still a little bit influenced here by tourism because we got some American music, but I think the more we walk, the more we'll start to see what we're actually, what actually Honduras is like. So, to say a little bit more about Roatán, this is a tiny island that belongs to Honduras, obviously this is Honduras, but the population is around 95,000 people, but 35% of those people are actually American tourists. So if you really narrow it down, it's a lot less when it comes to actual locals. Whoa, what do we got here? This is a little abandoned house. I mean, shit. Let's see. Literally. Man, doesn't matter where I end up, I always find an abandoned place. Looks like this, this may have been some kind of bar or something. But yeah, it doesn't matter where we end up. I always find abandoned. Anyway, so, yeah, it's a small island. It's about three-fourths of the size of Puerto Rico, so very small. It kind of looks like a string. And uh, this is the more touristic part of Honduras, but still beautiful, still full of locals, still full of culture. 
and definitely full of love. I, everybody I've met here has been amazing. But... Oh. What? Oh, no, thank you, man. I'm good. Gracias. See you por ahí. Yeah, well, um, I definitely get a lot of people asking for if, if, if I want their services, whether it be a taxi or um, or if I want to buy whatever they're selling. Definitely notice that, that you know, they, they come to you, but I completely understand that, you know. It's, it's what they live off of, so they gotta try and make their dough somehow. But yeah, we're definitely... Is that a freaking dog? Oh my god, bro. These freaking hood dogs. They know what they're doing, but they still give you a scare. Oh my god. What are we, oh shit. Yeah, this trash is legit. We got a little shop over there. I don't have any money. Which is not a great idea when you're in a foreign country. I know. But... Might as well check it out, see what it's about, right? Oh, I think it's closed actually. It's okay, there's there's more. Actually, there's one over here. And a little house. And a little neighborhood as well. Let's see what we got. Oof. Hola. Solo estoy, estoy, estoy viendo por ahí. Ok. Oh, man. I wish I could buy something so bad. I literally don't have any money. ¿De una semana cuánto es? Claro. Es 115. Una semana. Linda, vení, Linda, una super recarga. ¿Qué es Got some frituras. Yeah, nice little family ran business there. Let's see. A little car mechanic over there. Barbershop. Pick a picture, get a cut. Oh shit, look at this friggin' house though. It's almost like Asian style. Nice. Hola. Gosh, check out all the trash. This is definitely more like it. It's starting to rain though. So. My leg might get a little foggy, but the humidity has surprisingly been actually really low. Much lower than what I'm used to. Where I come from, let's wait to cross the street over here. Let's see what they got in here. Oof. This, one's, this one's a little bit more legit. Oh, shoot. Plátanos, if you want to make tostones or patacones. Burritos. Not gonna lie, these vegetables look legit. Nice. Oh shit, you even got some. That's, that's, I don't know, but that's not cacao. No, no way. Hola, so estoy viendo. Hay algo que me recomienden por aquí que yo pueda ver. Yo, yo sé que la área turística está para allá, pero me interesa más lo local, la real. Y pues como a unos 5 o 6 minutos está lo que es la iglesia católica. Okay. Está un pequeño parque que tiene la isla en el centro de Coxing Hall. Y aquí, eh, tal vez a unos 3 minutos, vas a encontrar lo que son tiendas que venden okay. a 
puede ser uh, comida, comida okay. camisa, eh, lo bonito pues está ah. un poco fuera que es lo que es la playa. Ah, sí, esa fui ya, la ¿Ya de West Bay. Sí, esa la, la vi, estuvo nice. ¿Ustedes son de aquí, de, de la isla? De ella. ella es nacida aquí. Ok, ¿y usted? No, yo me vine para acá y... Oh, ok. Sí, yo soy de Puerto me... Rico. Ah, ok. Perdón, <risa> ¿estás diciendo algo? No, nosotros venimos acá a vivir y aquí pues estudié, me casé okay. y entonces aquí estoy. ¿Qué estudió? Perito mercantil. No, pues, aquí es okay. como para contador, a, para llevar las finanzas de una empresa y... ¿Esta, esta es su empresa? Este sí. Qué brutal. ¿Y le va bien? Gracias a Dios. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Pues, eh, mi nombre es Laura. Mucho gusto conocerla. Ok, Rixi. Pero, ¿Cómo? Rixi. ¿y usted? Rixi. ¿También? ¿Las dos se llaman igual? No, Rixi Grace. Ah, es que lo que se escuchó como que más o menos igual. Ok. <risa> Mucho gusto, que tengamos buen día. Igual, que vaya bien. Gracias. Ok, so let's see. Pero anything, we'll just keep walking. Wait. Is this free? No, I doubt it. Hola. Man, for a second I was like, free me. But nah, nothing's free. Nothing's free. Huh. Guys, I cannot believe it right now. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of honks from different taxis. I mean, I don't blame them. They look at me and they're like, ooh, possible business. But, uh, can you guys believe I'm in Honduras? Like, that's insane, bro. I love it. I can't believe it. But, ooh, it looks like we're entering a little bit more of a little town here. over there. Okay, it's starting to divide. Why not? I'm good. I'm good. Also, I gotta say, the people of Honduras are beautiful. Like, they really, really are. Saludo. Saludo. See, we go. See a little bay over there? Ah. See ya. Look at this. Oh, I love this. Literally just like walking around. Hola! <laughs> just literally just walking around, man. I don't, need, I don't need to buy nothing. I don't need to... Just walking around, possibly meeting people. That, that's all I live for here. That's all I freaking live for. A little market. Absolutely beautiful. So we got a little clothes store here. I don't know, it caught my attention. Hola. Este, it almost kind of looks like a thrift store. It's como like a polguero, por decirlo así. Como una segunda mano, tipo tienda. Segunda mano. Como que propusada. Okay, sí, porque me lo imaginé. Pues voy a chequear lo que tienen. Okay, guys. You guys know I love me my thrift stores, so. Check out what a thrift store is like in Honduras. Ah? ¿Cómo fue? Solo mirando. ¿Le molesta si grabo? Ok, qué bueno. Check it out. This is what a thrift store in Honduras is like. And honestly, it's not disappointing, though I'm not gonna lie. The smell is there. Um, definitely more potent than in um, America, but. The clothes look pretty good shape. Very nice. Man, I would <laughs> if I bought something out here, I could say I went thrifting in Honduras, baby. But it's okay. It's not it's not about it's not about the material stuff you collect, it's about the memories and the and the way you felt in a certain place. I feel like that's what I tend to to remember the most. Looks like they're sorting through the clothes here. We got some more stuff over here. Very nice. Oh, they forgot to put some pants on her. <laughs> oh, look. Some more.
more stuff. Yo, is that a freaking dog on a, on a stand? I mean, yeah, poor dog is chained up, but he doesn't look too sad about it. Okay, interesting. You are. Let's go through here. Why not? Little store, like an underground store. So cute. So beautiful. Hola. Hola. Shit. Two cat calls in one. Okay, I'll take that. The camera definitely makes me. Uh, I wouldn't say a target. I don't think I'm in danger. But definitely a, a show, a scene, a scenery. We're definitely entering some more residential type stuff here. Permiso, ¿qué hay por aquí? ¿Qué hay por aquí? Esto es como que residencial. Mercado, como que agrícola o de todo tipo de cosas. Ok, muchas gracias. Okay, so a little market area. Let's check out what they got. Let's check out what they got. A lot of uh, very likely off-brand stuff. More shoes. Yeah, check it out. Fake Crocs. But hey. If it dresses you up and it works and it's comfortable, who cares if it's a brand or not? This is insane, I love it. Oh no, looks like this went out of business for sure. Yeah, Honduras is recovering from the pandemic in a way. I mean, for a while they were literally just living off of um, off of fishing, but Walter did tell me that they never went hungry because maybe they weren't making so much money, but they were definitely producing their own food, which has never been an issue here in Honduras. So that's definitely something I like about this culture is that they're very self-sufficient, despite the obvious differences between this and, you know, first world countries. Por acá al parque. Aquí, vaya a ver, no hay pérdida. Esta esquina de aquí, sí, a la otra y agarra para allá. Bueno, mi sentido de dirección no es el mejor, pero trataré. Ah, vaya. No, pero no se va a perder. Ok, con mucho gusto. Vaya, igual, igual, igual. Mucho gusto conocerla. Ah, what a great lady. I love him. I don't know if I'm gonna go to that park to be honest because I am on a tri time crunch and I don't know why this view is just calling to me. Um, so 
So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going forward and see what happens. Yeah, these cars are cutting it close. Yeah, also, some something I really love. <laughs> hey! Something I really love about this place so far is that everybody walks everywhere. I mean, yeah, there are cars and shit, but like, look at all the people walking by the street. You don't see this anymore. Hola. Hola. <laughs> and also, something I really like so far is that nobody minds that I'm recording. In Mexico, it was a different story. People looked at me really funny. They didn't like it. But in Honduras, I've gotten nothing but friendly highs, hellos, and yeah. Nice. Hey, Paolo, what we got over here? I'm gonna keep heading this way because there's just more going on. I'm hoping I don't get lost right now. That's that's kind of my main thing. I'm trying not to do because I don't have. Oh, that's another thing. I don't have <laughs> signal here. So uh, and I have no money. So definitely gotta be careful. Oh, and I have no sense of direction too. So. Let's hope the Lord is with us and guides us today. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Another taxi. <laughs> It. Sidewalks over. I think this is the church they told us about earlier, but it looks like it's closed. Bilingual. Oh, this is a school. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I still can't believe that um the main language here is uh, English. I did not expect that at all. We got a little nicer looking store over here. Yeah, I'm gonna start heading back now. Another abandoned house. At this point, I'm not even talking, I'm just absorbing. There's so much to see. My childlike is just, my childlike mind is just so activated right now.
Okay. We're back in the main street. That's it. Um, I'm heading back now. I know it's kind of short. I wish I could walk around more, but I do have somewhere I gotta be. So, yeah, but this was incredible. I really, really enjoyed this kind of thing. I definitely want to do some more of it. And if anything, it's inspiring me to do it more in Puerto Rico. I haven't done this. There are places like this, obviously not exactly like this in Puerto Rico, but I don't usually go to them because, you know, I am a local there. So to me, they're not like, like anything new. But sometimes like, I, I guess I gotta look at places with the perspective of somebody who's never been there rather than somebody who has. Um, for the sake of showing you places that a lot of people may have never seen, especially in Puerto Rico, because Puerto Rico, a lot of the, a lot of the places that you see online are very overrated. So, so thank you guys for watching. Hey! Thank you guys for watching. And get out of your house, go explore. But if not, don't worry, I guess I will take you. And I hope you enjoy seeing Rotang in beautiful Honduras. See you later, guys. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo? Yo soy Laura. Que tenga buen día. Man. They got kids freaking selling out here. I've seen a lot of them. Oof. What's up? Hey! Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That guy's whistling at me. <laughs> Bro, what is this, like seven cat calls in 30 minutes? That's insane.